want to be around in 100 years? Do you? Human beings are fucking cockroaches, dude. There's yeah. no way. We're, we're going to be around. Well, like, is this going to be, are we going to be around enough to think about, like, wow. Human ingenuity, it's the funny thing about human ingenuity is once the shit starts to hit the wall, we'll figure it out. No, we will. But I, like, imagine if all yeah, destruction happens. Everyone's about Fallout. Are you serious? Human beings? Really? We are so fucking stubborn. There's we are no fucking. No way. It's, it's like we're a parasite. Like, we do look for ways to evolve all the time. Like, yeah, a lot of us are The gone. internet is actually a step in evolution because we can communicate with everyone. Everyone now. It's honestly, it's all just like evolving well, into the. That's it. Once the billionaires start have to breathe in smog every day, and wait. things will get fixed. <laughs> yep. Yep. Once they don't have their fucking fucking jets and shit. What, like, if, what if there's like a bad? Shut up, Nile. I like rich people. We're what, just what? sucking their balls so you so they give you money. <laughs> Whatever. One percent, Nile. Yeah. One, I'm one percent, dude. One percent. I'm one percent in the forest. I'm the, I'm the one percent in the other direction. You have like Marty McFly sneakers on. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, they do tie themselves. I noticed it is, that earlier. If they were gray, they would be Marty McFly sneakers, self yeah. lacing and all that. Well, it is Velcro. Hey, did you notice our intersection talks now? What? Oh, when you cross the crosswalk? It was. It wouldn't shut the fuck up. I I stopped, and it's like it's like warning, an emergency vehicle is approaching. Warning. What? And then really? The second it got through the intersection, warning, a train is approaching. Yes. Warning. And then you, another you, ambulance, it just kept talking for five minutes. When you, when you press the button, it says, you can now cross the road. Yeah, it is yeah. all safe. Cars will not smash into your body. Cars will not smash hey, into you, Zach. Check your privilege, Zach. <laughs> yeah. Some people are deaf, all right? Good. I hope they get hit by cars. Do you think one day it'll be like, hey, Zach, it's, a uh, it's time for you to cross the road. Like they scan your eyes like minority reports. You. It's like, you're blind? cross the road, Zach, faggot. Punch yeah. it. I'll get Fucking fuck. weirdo. You're a misogynist, Zach. I just think women are stupid, unfunny, What's only wrong? for rape. What's think- wrong with hating a woman just because she's a fucking asshole? Why do you, Why can't I just hate a woman for being an asshole? Do you think people who misogyny are not, not hate, it doesn't mean, assholes? doesn't mean you hate all women. Yeah. This is the one thing that liberals did. Not, not, I, I'm a liberal myself. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. I'm a liberal myself, so I can say this. Ah. The one thing liberals that pissed me off a couple years ago was when anybody ever criticized Obama, it was like, you're a racist. It's like, no, dude, you can hate Obama and not be a racist. Yeah. Here's the... Yep. People I, hated Clinton. People hated Carter. I you're liberal. Say, I've never considered myself libertarian. A, I'd say you are, just from what you talk about. Just I'm, I'm, middle, I'm middle left. left. Yeah. I'm middle left. I'm like middle. middle yeah, it's like middle I've left. never considered myself conservative. I've always kind of. I feel like I've just been on that liberal side. But middle, middle, these middle. people are so fucking. They're they're like in, they're like they go into they're like so liberal. The furthest they've left gone is they fucking give, crazy. The furthest left is they give like pigs equal rights to humans. That kind of thing. It's like we're not that fucking far gone. But like we want everything to be. I, I've it's said, like, the left is, the the far left is now so far left, they're going to the far right now. I want to see... Like, like there's, these, there's these feminist guys who are like, women can't wear clothes. Like, you, you sound like a guy in the 50s. Yeah, exactly. The hell's you? Zach, women Zach can't has, show their ankles. Zach, you blew my mind with that point. Because it, 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 it made, made me think of asteroids. You go left, and you just come out of the right it side. It made me think of, like, a globe. You know, like, the fucking Earth. It's, it's like... What the hell are you guys talking about? Like, these guys who are so about. far politically <laughs> left. Yeah, no, no, Zach, seriously... seriously. Sorry, Zach has a point here because like it, he's saying like you're going so far left that you you love women so much that you want them to all have equal rights and then you're like yeah, yeah women, women, women can't like wear this yeah they, they, you're anti liberal yeah, yeah. you're anti liberal I'm not anti liberal no I'm not, not anti liberal you know what I am I'm Stamper and I sit at my computer and I work all day what yeah. difference does it make no but Stamper you're actually right but we're saying that if you people have, are people if you sit down Stamper I'm and a you, Stamper no but we're saying I am too. No, no not liberal. Who cares? I said I'm not a Republican Stamper. liberal. I know, you don't, you. I know you don't know about politics at all, but if you sit down and you do a test on what you oh, believe in. Expert here. Oh. <laughs> well, I That's never. Good. Teach us. Well, teach us. No. I never. No, no I'm talking about CNN.com, Stamper. Look, Zach completely agrees with me, but for some reason he's just oh, siding. He's he's one of those guys who sides with the people who are there's more it's people are the stronger people. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Let's throw this guy here. Tell me yeah. your damn story, man. To be honest, I'm saying the story. Step away to see her. Don't have a saw to push the pistol's pants. <laughs> Fuck you, though. <no. laughs> Fuck you now is going to become a... Don't cut this out. Why'd you say that now? No, 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 you're cutting this out. But fuck you now. You've said that so many times in this podcast that it will become a meme. So please stop saying that. Say (laughs) something. No, no. Say say some variations. God damn it, no. No, no, no. Not that. You're a racist now. Some variations. I love you now. Some variations. Guys, okay, let's say you're a racist now. Okay, three... You're, you're a racist, racist Nile. You're a racist. You're a racist Nile. It sounds like a Charlie racist. Brown special. But uh, no, no, Stamper. I'm saying if you sat down, and you did a quiz on like what kind of section you are in the fucking political. 
expect you are left. You'll probably be around the same as us. That's all we're saying. I know you don't care. But I'm, I'm just. Saying, a, I'm part of the common sense party. That's what I'm part. Of. Oh, okay. You're the I'm fucking. I'm the reasonable whatever, dude, common, common sense party. Common sense is, is completely reasonable. Common sense. Why? I'm not. not a, I'm not, not looking to be upset. I'm not looking to be hurt and offended. I'm I don't care. I'm busy. Buy products and and pay what I owe and. But that's the same with everyone. That's the same with all. Sorry, I did a bad. Zach did a boo boo. You're misogynist, Nile. I'm not just because women. Mi you're a misandrist. NileRapesWomen.com. <laughs> Do you hate men? Don't direct people to that. You should buy the domain. <laughs> no, don't buy it. NileRapesWomen.com. No first go to website for NileRapesWomen.com. Well, now that we've alienated a few people with our hey, bullshit. Jeff, like I have a few people you meet every Every fucking person listening. Ooh, those uh, Subject change. Immediately. Zach. No shave November. No. Shave November. <laughs> okay, sh we should not do it. I don't want to close on no Zach, shave November. Zach, I noticed you're growing a lot of stubble lately. Uh, is this for uh, No Shave November? For no. prostate cancer to raise awareness? No. But what's I've it noticed for, Zach right? does have a beard coming in. Yeah, he does have one coming in. This, looking... this is disgusting. Look no, it doesn't. It looks good. You look real good. I don't All know right, why. Just... I have the Italy into Hitler. Zach... I can't grow hair like that yet. Zach is into this thing where he's like, I need to look. I I'd love to wear a suit and I'd love to be clean shaven and look All like right, I'm so from the 50s. Shut up. So you brought this up <laughs> earlier today. Well, I'm dying to know what No Shave November. All these guys grow up to pubic hair to commemorate 9-11. Okay, so what is it really? You think that's a false? Yes. You think that's not real? No, because you smile when you lie, Zach. No, for for 9-11, what you do is uh, you get a boner and you sit down and your friend gets a boner and you- Niall! And you get- Shut up! Uh, you both sit down and with your people boners. Throw, it's people throw right. airplanes into your wieners. <laughs> that's it. Get it. That's it. Okay? Yeah, exactly. No shave November. How did what you know is that? this? Chip, your stubble looks great today. Thanks. See what you you would Jeff. I'm tired of facial hair. You would not Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, you pull it off. Jeff, you, you would stay up for it. Seth, you would do it. You would do the cypress going to your face, and I like that. No, it's because, because I am. But you know, I'm Zach. a boy. I'm a big boy. Wah. So what's uh, what's with uh, no no? So but the hipsters <laughs> don't shave for the month. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But your 19 year old neck beards don't like, grow the neck beard for a month because they want to help cancer out. But the thing I that's what I was waiting for. Yeah. The thing I don't understand is it's for cancer awareness, and everybody knows about cancer because it's it's for cancer. It's, so it's like it's like breast. Right? It's like the opposite of breast. Yeah, not yeah. the opposite of breast. How, how does you growing your beard out do anything? Because you you uh, set up a page on Movember.com or whatever, and you sp you get people to sponsor your fucking you. Growing so you said it's for cancer? Yeah. This is so you, you said so you so get you feel connected. Beard. So like all these people in their cancer beds change. grow out their beards because they can't. Well, they can't because they have they they got chemo. So and they you can't feel grow you feel like uh, oh a, se a sense of consolidation with them. Or Wait, guys grow beards because chemo patients I'm guessing. can't grow. I'm just guessing. It's I, more like I have no idea. I have no idea what that means. It's like Tati. Don't you think? I don't understand it. Oh, so it's it's like when women grow their titties out. <laughs> yeah, for breast cancer awareness. I hate. Or feminists grow their fucking armpit hairs out. The fact that this kids. exists in humanity is... Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect example of where we've... we've, we've yeah, but look, fuck, fuck people, fuck Earth. Thank, Ar you. Argue, Thank you for listening. Arguably, like, the biggest uh, charity, uh, like, causes in the world is cancer, but, like, cancer still hasn't been cured yet, so, like, what's All the... All right, Niall, we have to wrap this up. I'm going to ask you a bunch of rapid-fire questions. You can't think, you just have Wait. to answer. Go for it. Uh, favorite color? Blue. Guys or girls? Guys or uh, girls. Oh. <laughs> 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 Busted! Nah. Busted, my friend! Uh, no, that's not true. It's not true at all. I Zach, same thing. Uh, favorite movie, go! Robocop. Uh, least favorite movie, go! Robocop 2. Guys or girls, go! Robocop 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Stop it, guys or girls! Guys, shit! <laughs> guys or girls? Guys, guys shit! Guys, that's what's... <laughs> Yeah. Favorite, favorite video game? Uh, Devil May Cry 3. Least favorite video game? Uh, not Devil May Cry 3. Dick size. Five. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, true story. They almost saw my dick before Jeff walked in. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, yeah. we really tried to haggle now to pull his dick out because we heard Jeff close his Wait, yeah, that's a true story. Okay. That is a true story. From, from start to finish, you tell it. Sam, no, you tell story it. Teller. No, you tell it. Uh, it uh, Sam and I were sitting in our chairs looking now, and I was kind of in front of us. And we're like, pull your dick out. And he was really self-conscious. But we, 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 like for five minutes, we tried to convince him. And about the fifth minute, he almost did it. And before, we heard, separately heard Jeff's car door closing outside. And I wanted to time it so now I would pull his dick out. And Jeff would walk in. But it didn't happen. 
It was so close. Jeff walked in right I didn't hear Jeff Stark. I need, I need new friends. I'm tired of talking to you guys. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm just, I don't know, guys. It's really cold in here. Listen. Like he was trying to impress us. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, he's still like joking up. He's so joking to get like a chub. That's, that's what I was like, that's dude. Bullshit. Look, it was nice I don't even know why I'm here right now. The, I don't want to now as wiener. The pulling it out, the, the, the chub thing, I have to defend myself with that. So I wasn't trying to get a chub. I was like debating whether to pull it out or not. So I was like, I, I need new friends, I'm too. so fucking tired of dick talk. Oh, fuck you. St- I will. Uh, yeah. I will I want a hat. Zach, you. if you could name a comet, what would you name it? Jeff's asshole. There you go. There you go, folks. <laughs> Jeff's asshole is the end of the sun. The, 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 the trailer's the one burning word. off. And you write cartoons. Jeff's asshole. Step, we're going to wake up dead tonight. <laughs> How is it going to wake up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy shit, I'm dead. Oh, no. If I was to name a comet, I would name it Nile. I would name it B5379. They ran out of Greek god names. You have to name them like a numerical. What if I name it like Aphrodite? Is it one? That's, that's a good what one. What if we just named it the Terminator? Just call it the Terminator. Yeah, and oh, it's the Terminator's near you. The one that's near you. coming towards you. Yeah. Did asshole scientists name it the Terminator? <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about yeah. it. It's like, who comes up with the names for, like, hurricanes? Like, Hurricane Sandy and Katrina. Yeah, like, Terminator. Why is it all named after Earth. women? Yeah, yeah, why can't they call it, like, Hurricane fucking Annihilator? There's plenty of hurricanes in which we That's not nice. Ivan? The people are gonna die, and then the news people are like, yeah, 80 people died because of Hurricane Annihilator. They got oh, I'm Annihilator. saying Annihilator because Niles in the name. Oh, oh, you selfish motherfucker, dude. Everything revolves... You know what, son? All right, I'm gonna call you son from now on because we all revolve around you. Well, I'm the fattest here, so technically you do. Yeah, it's true, son. Fat ass. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't call me fat. In this we have podcast. 30 seconds left. I don't want all the ladies listening to think I'm fat because I always say that I'm fat, but I'm not that fat. But you are fat. Thanks for listening to Sleepy Cast. <laughs> uh, I'm Stamper TV. The name is Zach. Don't wear it out. The name's Fat Fat Boy Slim. It's Jeff, J E F F, not J E O F. No, no, G E O F F. G E F. Whatever, like man. Good night. Threat. Good Love night. You. Love you. We have ten seconds left. Let's start screaming. Oh, fuck ah, you. Oh. I, I'm, not, I'm not fat. I'm, I'm not fat. <laughs> you are fat. 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 Questions and answers is postponed until later. Sorry about that. Here's a regular episode for the time being. If you don't like it, you can take it out on my little butt with your wiener or fingers. I shouldn't have said that. Billy Janish. Billy Janish. Why do you like that? The Billy Janish. Is this fun? The Billy Janish. Billy Janish. Billy Janish. Says that or claims that? Claims that. Claims that. Hi! Hi! And how can you go? Except he doesn't do it for the title, right? I can do the bridal with the less kids on. Never heard that one before. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Christopher. I uh, I played Dark Souls. Nah, he got you there, man. Fuck you, Sid. Really? Fuck you. With the Michael Jackson molester joke? He died five years ago. I have have freshed the game, my friend. It's un, un, untrampled snow here. Billy Janish. Well, it's recording. Anyway. Oh, shit. There is a world as tangible as our own. Impossible to see, yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin... There's a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshit... Welcome to Sleepy Cast! I'm Niall and I'm here with Stamper TV. Hi! Zach Hadel, also known as Psychic Pebbles. Well, hello there. Haha, <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, 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 and Chris O'Neill. That's a good one. Hi! 
That's Ooh. a little joke for you video gamers. It's a little <laughs> thing called Mario Brothers. Wait, what? You're, you're doing the Mario Brothers thing. No, I was. I was doing the uh, Nobby. I don't think so. Anyways. Let's do a great start to our podcast. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I don't like being the introductor. Introducty. Let's delete everything with Nile. Keep the rest. Nile, did you make coffee? I sure did. How many, many scoops did you use in the coffee? A good amount. How many? No, I, no, I, I, I use about the... Stamper uses way too much. You How use, much? How you much? use a bit more than I usually use, but you don't use near as much as Stamper uses. But Stamper likes strong coffee. You know, I just took I also like coffee. You know, is this hot water? Line? Have you guys talked about coffee? I, on that, the that, I, I don't think hot water. Yes, is I that. took the pre-existing coffee and poured new coffee into it. Now, have you? I don't get, use too much coffee. He uses make coffee. Your coffee is I don't know if it was. I, I don't know if it was just the one time. My coffee it. might be a little bit strong, but I follow no, the directions. Stamp it. When, they, when it's ten cups of coffee, I use ten tablespoons. Yeah. They might be heaping tablespoons, but I still Stamper. follow the rule. No, Stamper, you don't Nile. understand. You know, it, it's not the amount of t- spoons of coffee you put in that makes the more coffee. It's the amount of water that's put in that dictates the amount of coffee being made. Let me made. tell you how, how you, you showed me how you make coffee. You said, yeah, you see what I do? I just put a, a grounds in the filter and I make it a little mountain. And that has nothing to do with the wa- amount of water you put in there. No, that, the, the, the amount of coffee ground you put in is how strong it is. Yeah, exactly. You put, you put little baby sprinkles in. No, I do. Stamper takes a big mighty fist and grabs no, no, the coffee no, and puts no, it in no. and cooks it and I take a Your sip coffee and I go, when I pour it into my cup looks like my pee in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's that like I will look and clear. Stamper. Transparent. Okay. I can see the bottom of the cup. That is that exactly. coffee. But exactly. I've, the I've seen the remainings of the filters of your coffee and Stamper's coffee. Yours yes. is much, 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 much less than Stamper's. I'm not co- Stamper's taste, tastes really good. I like Stamper's, but I'm just thinking it's a little bit unnecessary to have that much coffee in well, the I would rather drink really good coffee for a month than, than average coffee for two months. I know, but then you'll, you know, yeah, but the last time I wake week, up in the morning, I don't want to drink hot water. Yeah, I took a sip and I said, well, I had to look in. I said, did I pour hot water in here? No. It's just Niles Coffee. No, look. Copyright 2014. Coffee, right? Coffee, right. Uh, I'm leaving. No, I, but, okay, once I was emptying the filter of the coffee, right? Yes. I saw I saw, the, I saw the, like, wet filter, and it was like, imagine this. Was it heavy? It, 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 yeah, it was actually heavy. That's was, good coffee. No, no, no. You ever see those commercials? It was it over. It's heavy. Hey, you know, okay, it's good. Did you ever see those? You know fucking standard, you know standard coffee filters, right? Yes. Stamper's coffee was, like, higher than the top of the f- coffee filter. Bullshit! You're that was I swear to God, one time it was. The one time I saw it, it was. Alright, first of all, coffee filters are fairly big. Why were they making that big if you can't put that much coffee grounds inside of it? It's like a reservoir for the water! I make pots of coffee! For ten cups, man. Yeah, yeah you know, he does. The amount of coffee, ten cups, the, amount of coffee them. the amount of coffee you put in the filter does not dictate the amount of cups made. It's the amount of water. Mm. It's a standard amount. It's a set amount of water you put in. How many people think that me and Zach's coffee is good? Raise your hand. You think they've okay, yeah. How many people think Nas coffee is shitty? Raise your hand. They never taste oh, it. Oh, yeah. All right, this is just there. ganging up. That's right. This Wait. is just ganging up. But oh fuck you, Wait, Chris. When you guys drink coffee, do you actually feel the difference? Yes, I wait. I I I wake up. I say, I ain't got coffee, and I go drink my coffee. Yeah. And I it's more so like desensitized to coffee. It doesn't even really work. No, it's like, look at this. It's more have like you ever not had coffee. Yeah, that's it, what I was gonna say. It's it's the the other side. It yeah. makes you normal now. It makes you normal now, like heroin. You know, it's, at first you're like, whoa, it's great, and then it, yeah. and then you need it to stay normal. It's kind of yeah. like that. How often do you shoot up heroin? It's <laughs> <laughs> not just guys that. No, but I don't drink coffee often. But I doesn't. I never feel any different when I drink it. That's the thing. See, like it's, it's like I need it. In, I, I don't need it, but I like it in the morning. Yeah. And then when I get it. I'm good to go, but then at the same time, I can drink like 15 cups and not have a problem. I don't it's mean to sound like a... It's, I, I think it's kind of a placebo in a sense where it's like, it's hot, it's like, I'm, when I get my coffee, I'm going to wake up. It's kind of like a thing. It's yeah, like, okay. a ritual. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. A yeah, ritual, exactly. I'm going to wake up, I'm going to... So it's like a little shower. Exactly. I was going to say it's like a hot shower for your mouth. I don't mean to sound like one of those, like, <laughs> coffee twats. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I, I, I coffee twat. Mouth. I don't want to sound like a coffee twat, but I kind of need it to, like, function normally instead of, like... Being a zombie for the rest of the day. That's fine. I feel like a zombie all day, every day. Drink yeah. coffee. Drink coffee, my friend. I do, but it doesn't do anything. That's what I'm saying. That's because you don't have that often. Plus, you drink that pussy shit with iced coffee. What's the difference? 
That's just sugar. Then you break down. It's nothing. That's just sugar. sugar. Yeah. Why is it drink a hot coffee? Drink a hot coffee with. Why is it not ice? Yeah, there, is, there is coffee. It's coffee with ice and it's sugar. So it's so little coffee though. It's something girls drink to think you're actually drinking coffee. I love ice coffee. It's something dude. girls drink. It is. Ice coffee is not for men. Drink. Ice coffee is. Well, yeah. Well, like I do feel gay going into Starbucks and asking for an ice coffee. I take ice coffee. Ice coffee's fine, but it's not. It's not good enough to wake up. It's not coffee. There's more cream and like fucking ice and water there than there's coffee. Okay, that's what coffee with your ice coffee. You know what I mean? Come on! <laughs> turbo ice coffee. Snapper. Turbo, turbo, and no fucking, fucking drill nuts. Corey gets the, the turbo all the time. Um, do you ever kind of feel a little bit gay going into Starbucks and asking for a turbo? Or no, not turbo, sorry. Uh, ice caramel macchiato or something like that. Does that kind of make it a little bit like... You know, I used to get that every day. Yeah, we used to get... We, you, ever, you ever feel gay? No, because it's delicious. You ever, you ever it's feel, so delicious. You know what Starbucks has? Is they got that uh, vanilla latte. And the vanilla latte is very delicious. Yeah, I, 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 I have one more coffee is garbage. Though. I have one more thing to wrap up. Uh, you ever feel gay when you deep in your dick and look some guy in the eyes when it comes out of your throat? You know what I mean? You killed me. <laughs> That's good from sleep. I did not think that would end all that fast. Damn. Oh, it's relatable though. Everyone deep throats cocks. Can we talk about uh, Chris doing his fake blowjob in the air? Chris does this thing to piss us off where he looks you right in the eyes and does a fake, like, it, uh, violent deep throat gagging. It's, Chris, do it to Stamper. Stamper's oh, I, I, no, I don't want to do it. My I, hair is really long and it'll actually look like a girl. I know. I know. It, no. it, it, like, your, his hair, like, flows back and forth when he does it. I don't want to do see it. Chris blow it in visible <laughs> But it's the way he does it. I don't know. It, it's he's like, so, he's way too into it. It's like, practice. you know when people kind of, like, put their thing and they do a fake blowjob like that? Well, the way Chris does it, it's like there's an actual solid dick there, so he stops at a certain point and he keeps going back and forth and he looks you he looks right in the eye. he looks you right in the eye. it makes you want to hit him in the jaw more than anything else he does yeah but and he gags at the right time too like when he goes out that's when he says okay gag. stop stop yeah. the only reason I do that do is Jack emulate it I'm not, Chris can do it I'm not good at it emulate it Chris show it's just like oh, no on. no look stiff in the eyes while you do it I feel like <laughs> no what is your fascination with Chris? Look, the only reason look, I do it. Imaginary blowjob. I woke up and Chris was holding me down, doing that to my face, and I screamed and pushed him off of me. Oh, yeah, it's your face. I was traumatized. It was your winner. That PTSD. But, but no, the only reason I do that is because one time I was dating a girl, and she got really pissed off because I asked her to do it for me, and it made her so angry. Well, look you in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, is that is that is that, a, is that trouble for girls to look you in the eyes? She was just like, I'm not a porn star. Oh man, that happened to me. I actually like. I, 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 like, I don't want. I don't want to sound like a fucking like ass. But like I slapped her in the face with my dick, <laughs> and she got so mad. Okay, that that I slapped her in the face. I kind of that. She got so mad. I, know, I fucking I hit her in the, fa- in the, the face with my fist. And she it wasn't like, hard. It was, just, it was just like I socked her in the eye. And she went imagine that. Just, just a little, It's not innocent. That's you can't, annoying. Just okay, the innocent. Yeah, it's just annoying. Imagine it's, it's funny though. Imagine I mean, you, it's it's like, you get upset though. You're already blowing somebody. Yeah. So if you take it one step further, it's annoying. It's it's like it's like when you're a little kid and your sister, you know. T- touches your face, so when you touch your face with your dick, it's one of those annoying things kids do. Wait, wait. But it's like one of those photos <laughs> where girls are eating a dude's butthole out and he farts and he's <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, you see that like, this is, I'm quitting this industry is the most disgusting. Yeah, I mean, oh, man, but so that dude's butt hole yeah, everyone, see, everyone can relate to that, though, because, well, like, when... Like, I, I could fart... Okay, I've actually never farted during sex, right? But if a girl queefed during sex, I would get mad. Even though if I farted they during do. sex, I would probably laugh. Most girls do queef all the time, yeah, though. I know. Girls always no, during sex. I don't get mad unless they laugh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, me and Chris talked about this before. What, what, yeah, you, you mentioned that before. What is it's, that? It's, it's cute. If, if they laugh, it's like, oh, you think something's <laughs> funny? It's no. like a guy farting. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's the weirdest balance. It's like, if they queef and they get really embarrassed, then you laugh. But if they queef and they laugh, then you get really mad. They, no, because you're like, oh, God. <laughs> you fucking... Yeah, it's yeah. Like it's you, you just queefed on my dick. You like, like that is so weird. You guys had a discussion about it's that. It's cute yeah. though. She, she's like, oh, when she blushes, it's like, like, oh, yeah, like she's like, she's like, pussy, and she's like, oh god, it's like the funniest shit ever. But the second she's like, <laughs> then you're like, stop. Yeah, the second she's, uh, you know, shooting out queef pellets is a problem. Queef pellets? Yeah, you ever see a queef pellet? Wait, no. what? It's, little, it's like a little pearl. It's like a clam, but you come inside a girl. Oh, so she's acting like it a, co- a coffee after coffee coffee years. Some shit. Yes, it coughs out a little. How much is it worth? Little pearls. Well, probably not very much. But you can you can collect them if you'd like to. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Man, Zach, you are killing this podcast. Yeah. Wait, Zach, you're wearing a pearl necklace right now. It's a sperm necklace. <laughs> it's a It is a sperm hardened hardened queef pellets necklace. <laughs> Step with if there was such a thing as queef pellets, would you would you grab one? Would you touch one? Oh yeah. <laughs> you would? 
You would? Just touch one? Would feel yeah, like we're basically touch that. It would feel like a fish egg. A fish egg. No, like... it's not. No, it's hard. It's hard. Yes, it's like it... a little. Uh, it's like a. It's, it's like, like a pebble in your shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where you fuck. That's like a kidney stone. Chris would be like a bubble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a kidney stone, but he queef him out. I thought I would imagine it'd be kind of like a bubble. No, if you have a girl saved up enough, though, she could just shoot at you and wear like a BB gun. They get stuck in your skin. Or like you know, you know when you're a kid and you have those like bubble things you blow. She puts one of those up there, and then like a big bubble comes out. That's nasty. I know for a fact you all remember this. What was it like the first time you fired it in water and you saw bubbles come up? I, I don't remember that. I don't remember the first time. <laughs> I, I do it in the bathtub still as an adult. If I do everything bad, I do a big fart and I laugh <laughs> every time. Yeah, once I walked in, I was like, I didn't know we had a hot tub, and Zach's like, we don't. <laughs> and I was farting in the... I know, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> that joke is so overdone. Yeah, <laughs> Nile. That was in Lion King 2. Was it really? Yeah. Was okay, it Pumbaa? Pumba? Yeah, Pumbaa. Pumba, Pumba, okay. Pumba, he when Pumbaa left the hot tub. Not only, not only do you know that was already a joke, but you know it was a joke from Lion King too. I don't, I don't remember Lion King two at all. All right, dude. Yeah, well, that, that song is good. There was a one good song in it. You. Yeah, that's the only reason that movie was anywhere to be yeah. seen. There was a good song in it. What about two and a half? Where it was just Timon and Pumbaa? Oh, yeah, yeah. Literally the movie. Was that three? Huh? Was that three? No, it was, it was called two and a half. That's stupid. Yeah. The cool of the tide. Yeah, they just didn't want to make three. Because they wanted to save it, like, I think, for a trilogy. Samper looks like Tony Soprano. Hmm? Yeah. Doing a weird thing. Are you, like, <laughs> meditating? I'm fucking drunk right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking wasted. You have, like, a zillion lines in your head. I'm wasted and tired, but I'm going to stick it through with this podcast and try to make poignant responses. Okay, to- here's, a, here's a good thing we could talk about, because we're all going through it right now. Uh, moving house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moving. We're all, we're all going our separate ways. To step back, we all live together in a... Big house, me, Zach, Chris, Chad, Corey, a bunch of people. Nile. Nile. <laughs> <laughs> In one house, and they are now selling that house, which if you're renting a place, you're going to have to understand that that's, that's a that potential consequence. Just yeah. like, get out, so everyone has to leave now. Yeah. So we all had to leave, and we kind of split ways there, and... Um, We're still in the process. We're still in the process of doing that right now. And this will be the history soon, but that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> At this second. So if you're listening and you're moving, we understand your pain. Do you remember that time we went to set up the electricity for the house? And uh, we were standing, oh it was the office, and we were standing in the queue, and it was crammed full of people, and I was standing in front of a lady, and she was like, Excuse me, sir, can you get your butt out of my face? And was Excuse like, me, sir? <laughs> sir! And you turn around and you're like, yeah. And she's like, could you get your butt out of my face? <laughs> what? Was she, oh, really so she was sitting down. She was sitting down and my ass was like five feet away from her. And she was like, get out of my face. And I was like, okay, sorry. We had no choice. We were standing in line. Exactly. We were crammed in a room that was full of people. Yeah, why didn't she fucking move? Because she was sitting down, down on a fucking disaster. We had to go down to the city to get the power turned on at the office here. Yeah. And this is this crammed fucking disgusting fucking lobby. Do you remember, look, there was like a million angry people sitting there all at once. It was super hot. And then uh, when the person was like, okay, all you normal people stay here and anyone who's setting up a business, electricity, come with me. And they all looked at us and everyone looked so angry. She was like, cool. so who's, set, who's setting up an office? Uh, who's setting up an office account right now? And then we were the only people that raised our hand. Yeah. And she was like, okay, you come with, you come with me. And then so she brought like, us to like fucking Willy Wonka's Chocolate <laughs> Land where everything was perfect and beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful and nice. Those people look so mad, dude. There was like, there was nobody in the other room that we went to. It's like they brought us down to this men in black place where <laughs> they set up our business account. It was great. And then they flashed us in the eyes with that little clicker thingy. And they were like, you How do you, how do you remember? How the fuck do you remember? Because I get bills every month, Niles. Loopholes, <laughs> bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. But, yeah. Wait, where are we going to have to do that when we move house? Yeah. That's the thing. When you move, like, all right, so when you move into a new place, you have to pay more often than not first, last, and security deposit. deposit. deposit yeah. Let's say you move into a humble place that costs like a thousand dollars. That's not really humble, but we live on the East Coast, not the Midwest, where everything costs like five dollars dollars a month to one apple. But so <laughs> over here, like more often than not, you're gonna pay around 
two grand if you're fucking lucky and live in squalor, or three to five grand if you're gonna live in some. And the biggest problem is too, even if you live alone, it's still what a thousand bucks a month for some shitty cramped apartment. Yeah, so I lived alone and I paid a thousand dollars a month, almost a thousand dollars a month. But then I had to triple that up, and then I still have to worry about fucking utilities. Yeah, I still have to worry about fucking utilities. One of the worst parts of movies. One of the worst parts of movies is you have to get your fucking address changed on everything. You oh my Amazon account. Well, every your bill, every, everything has to be changed. It's such That's a the hassle. thing. I wanted to change my address in the bank, and they said I need proof of address. And I'm like, this, this, this is my proof of address. Like, I need, I need to get bank statements to get a proof of address. So, so like, your mailing address, though, just go online and change it. Say, I, this, here's my name. I used to live here, and now I live here. And you're, you'll you can do it online. Why didn't, why, why didn't they let me do it in the bank? Yeah, but you know, you still have to go online. Well, it'd still be wise to go online and change your addresses. Uh, it's all boring shit anyway. I'd... It's very boring. Yeah. <laughs> Moving sucks. Yeah, it does. This is my first actual real taste of being an adult. We have to move, we have to kill ourselves. There's tons of flies in this office. It's driving me <laughs> fucking nuts. And there was a cloud of flies just following me all the way home, and I thought they were landing in my ear and laying eggs and shit. <laughs> it was really bothering me. Did I tell you what happened to a lady my mom knew? No. no. Um, she went to the doctor, she was like, my ear's itchy, and then they stuck in tweezers and pulled out a big, long spider. That's disgusting. Oh my god! A spider? A little baby spider crawled into her ear and eat, ate her earwax, and it got too big to crawl out, so they had to pull it out. You can't get nutrients from earwax, I tried. Spiders can. How did she figure out there was a spider in She was like, ah, oh, my ear itches. My ear itches! Oh my god, that's terrible. you see one of those videos where they pull out, like, a big, like, a long, like, grasshopper-length thing out of somebody's ear, like a big no. spider or something? <laughs> no. Like, how do you not notice that's in your ear? Your eardrum is only like half an inch in. Yeah, if you if you scratch the inner ear, you're gonna feel a huge fucking like antlers. Like, something. do you never touch your face? Like, do your ears actually go inside thing. your ears? I clean my ears every day. Me too. Every time I get out of the shower, that's I put a little Q-tip in there. That's one thing I barely ever do. <laughs> that's one thing I rarely do is clean my ears. That's really clean your ass, I do. Yeah, I clean it like maybe once a month. You need to clean your ears, Nile. How prints are gross. You ever seen a fucking alien before? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where did it come from? Did you? What's that? Did you see an alien? Yeah, I saw one uh, yesterday. Oh, an alien, alien, alien or an alien? An alien, which is much scarier than an alien, by the way. Alien? You don't want to fuck oh, with an alien. Way scarier. I saw an alien, I laughed and You do not in want face. to see an alien. Aliens are in movies constantly. Aliens. Aliens? You don't... Stamp, you want to tell, talk about your alien experience? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't I trust wait. you guys enough. Okay. Step, I, I trust you with my alien story. Right. Wait, wait, what is an alien? <laughs> well, Chris, an alien, you know, it's got those big black eyes, those big, big cute lips that you kiss every night. Uh, it's got those big skinny, uh... Wait, they don't got big lips, they got literally no lips. Yeah, I said, I said cute lips. Oh, so, Cute lips, they have, they, sometimes they stick their tongues out and giggle, but <laughs> that's, that's an alien. Okay. Aliens. Aliens. Instead of them actually abducting you, they walk in your room and go... You wake up and you can swear to God there was an open window, but it's just an alien bothering you. It's horrifying. And th th does he crawl out the window instead of like? He basically, it? basically, the alien is just like trying. It's it's a sound effect comedian. Like he just tries to impersonate sounds. Like he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, door's open. No, it's just an alien. It's just a door opening though. They flew to the planet from yeah. the ends of their ears. To to do the yeah, we're their test audience to see if we're good enough for stage and if their act is good enough. So we just walk around. The real aliens. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're real aliens, but the aliens, they're, they think, oh, aliens are scum. Get the fuck out of here with you. They come back here, they test shit out. That would actually explain a lot of shit that goes on at nighttime. Yeah. Your footsteps, it's just an alien stopping your feet. Yeah, you go downstairs, your Xbox games, your discs are sitting out of the cases, and they got fingerprints on them. Aliens. They have aliens. fingers? Huh? So, yeah. Fingers? Yeah. yeah. Why wouldn't they? But they have their fingerprints? Yeah. Also, they get grabbed. But humans people. have fingerprints, but I don't know. They little crop circles. It'll be funny if an alien had pubes instead of getting like a Brazilian, he shaved it into like a little crop circle. He was like, doo -doo 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 but he has pubes still. <laughs> and he has like, no. <laughs> have you seen the easiest way to make scary aliens funny is just give him pubes. <laughs> you ever seen an alien smile before? So at first you're afraid and then you look down and it's just the most hilarious. He's pubes. <laughs> what can't you make funny with pubes? 
God. And then you wonder why he's like trimming them and making shapes if he has like alien barbers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like he's bald. He has no hair on the top. Well, these are head. stupid. That they look like, lanky and like disinterested. And then they, stupid. They add pubes. <laughs> That's the funniest image. Dude, that the funniest picture ever is the picture of the fucking stupid, broken-looking alien shaking hands with Hitler, and Hitler looks disgusted. He's like, <laughs> he's <laughs> recoiling backwards. The alien's eyes are like, yeah, I'm yeah. watching you. Yeah, they're like squinting. He has a stupid, broken arm. It just, so, it's so stupid looking. <laughs> oh god, aliens are great. I, I'm feeling they're becoming the new skeletons, though. Oh, they are. They're, they're totally becoming these skeletons. Let's step back for a second. Of course, Zack would have to bring up Hitler again in another Look it up, it's funny! It's you know, funny! Do you know it what Zack said completely picture. unironically earlier today? He said, you know what? We, we should bring the goose step back. Yeah. I know. What I said was, I miss goose stepping. Yeah, but you never well, goose step. Why well, did you didn't miss goose stepping? Imply yeah. that you goose step. I love goose step. What is goose step? Well, it's, it's the, the way that. Well, show, show the goose step. Well, well, goose well, this is a podcast, so people can't goose see Goose step or stamp Basically, it's stick. No, don't do the head. Don't do the head. Don't do the Yeah. Oh, it's like the Ministry of Silly Walks. It's a, it's a cool walk. Imagine a million guys walking goose stepping. But it's like what Zach is doing is he's so, slowly adding more well, like I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, not, I'm not putting a frog in the toe you You're kind of are. You're testing the waters a little bit. You're dipping your toes in the you know, Look, uh, some countries still do it today. I'm just saying the Nazis ruined a lot of stuff. That was that was cool. Like what? Before. Like killing Jews. They, they kind of ruined that whole phase. <laughs> Goose stepping looks like a pain in the ass. Why would you want to walk like it's that? It's scary. Who is what? It's so much. If my commanding officer told me to goose step, I'd be I'm really like. It makes really? a cool noise. Even the, exactly, a million guys <laughs> goose stepping in Houston. Even the name though, it's like it sounds kind of like a ballet dance or something kind of fruity. A million guys going woo <laughs> in unison <laughs> would sound amazing. Let's go see it. Let's all do it. No, no, goddamn it. On goose. three or on yeah, three, two. Okay, three, two. What's the noise again? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Do it again. Three, two, one. <laughs> See? That's nice. Now imagine a million people doing that. Okay, let's let's see what's here. Three, two, one. Talk like Zach. Three, two, one. <laughs> I never say my name. I love you more. <laughs> oh, you're fucking dead. You know that? You know, why, why does everybody do? They always say, "Let me do an impression." They always say, "They always say the name of oh, what yeah. they're doing." My name is so and so. I know. I'm uh, Bill Clinton. It's like yeah, yeah he yeah. says that all the time. You fucking <laughs> fraud. You fraudulent <laughs> is what you are. I'm Bill Clinton. I'm. That's not true. Jordan Christopher Walken! I'm Arnold! Nice to see you! Stamper, <laughs> you, you, you love Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions, don't you? Oh, they're my favorite thing. What's your favorite it's thing the, to say? Is it the Apex of Comedy? Do you think the chopper? Christopher Walken is just below Arnold. Christopher Walken met Arnold, that would be hilarious. Christopher, why do you say Christopher, Christopher Walken? Walken. Walken. Chris got really mad at me one time. I was, because he did like an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, <laughs> I was like, don't do that. But it's but everybody does it unironically now. So they do it like ironically, which is now becoming the new. It's no, it like wasn't me anyway. It was Hans. Oh, it was Hans. Yeah. I was in the room going. <laughs> it's the most fucking obnoxious thing when people do Arnold Schwarzenegger impressions. Only because they always do the Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, they always do the oh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Like Zach, you kind of did it more realistic, like Arnold. But like, oh, oh, like hello, oh, 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 oh. he's a guy. He made movies. When he first came around, do you think people were doing impressions? When he first came? No, you wouldn't dare. Let me tell you, the lowest Listen. form of comedy is impressionist comedy. No. It's easy. It's Listen, like, I don't agree. I think Christopher Walken is very funny. Arnold Schwarzenegger is very George funny. George Bush. Sylvester the Cat is very funny. You can't do George. You can't forget George Bush. George Bush. The lowest form of comedy is... Every stand-up uh, comedian that does impressionist comedy does Christopher Walken, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, George Bush, Bill Clinton, like a Ray Romano, they do, there's like five they always do with like the lady. And they're, they're never jokes, it's like, hey, I'm talking like this guy, hey. now I'm talking like this guy, now I'm talking like this guy. This is Have definitely a good night, everybody. One person kind of goes like, oh yeah, it does sound like him. And that's yeah, this is... That does sound like yeah. And they never, yeah, they never make jokes while they're doing it. It's always like, it's always like, yeah, yeah the best reaction they'll ever get is, huh? Yeah, it's that's like, it. Oh, yeah, it's I good. think I don't think it's the lowest form. Of, I think uh, song parodies, uh, but like no, really badly. Those take effort. You know? No, because you just go like fucking. 
Wait, pick any song here. Pick a song. <laughs> what the cows are? Yeah, Weird Al. Like, okay, I don't like Weird Al. No, I'm no, gonna get it. That's that's a real fucking song. Is that really? That's song? real. Weird Al actually has it released. It's fucking good. It's oh god. But at least he can play instruments and sing it. No, you wrote a fucking parody song with me. Yeah, but that was oh, ironic. It was oh, ironic. It was. Oh, it's ironic. It was ironic. Maybe Weird Al thought that who was the guy has rules. <laughs> yeah, and ours was actually funny, kind of. No, 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 no. I would no. give it a zero out of ten. No, about a three out of ten. Zach's gone. Let's make fun of Zach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like World War II. My, my grandpa was I like to World War II. Hey guys, have you seen that dude? Uh, uh, that dude YouTube channel? Stamper. Was, 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 it's got the Civil War and Stamper. World War. I like World War. Stamper. No! <laughs> <laughs> For those who couldn't see that, which is everybody, Zach was actually behind Stamper the, the entire time. Did you take your belt off in order to choke me? <laughs> no, I, yeah! over there. I took it off really because I'm fat. Fuck Let's you. talk about something crazy. All right, wild stop. and wacky. Niall, I'm going to count down for five, and then you say the first noun that comes off the top of your head. Okay. And then we'll have a topic on that. Yeah, but if you count to five, I'm already thinking of nouns. You have to do it. I know, that's the whole point. So okay. it's it, it's it's like a random... Like, da, 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 da. Just just pick one. Stop on the one. Okay, go, go. So we'll go five, four, three, two, one, and then noun. Okay. okay. So five, four, three, two, one, down. Down. <laughs> Did you just write down with noun? Also... <laughs> It was my idea. Also, oh, down is that an L? I was actually gonna, I was actually gonna say noun, but five, is it, is four, it, is that an L? three, two, one, down. Oh. Zach, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, brown. Chris, five, four, three, two, round. four, round. Mm -hmm. Stamper, stop frowning. Stamper, I want to give you, you pick a bird, okay? Cooking. Okay. Cause you said herb. That's what herb came into your head, and then he said cooking. What? Yeah, you know what fucking happened, Stan. <laughs> what the hell are you oh, talking shit. about? Okay, pick an adjective that... Soccer. Soccer's shit. I hate I soccer. I soccer as a baby. My dad used to take Soccer isn't a fucking day. adjective. I hate soccer, dude. I don't like do, it. Do you, do you mean, like, giant would be an adjective? Soccer right? is the main reason I hate going to bars, because every time I go to a bar, it's oh, fucking try going, soccer. Oh, try going to one in Ireland. It's fucking atrocious. I, I, don't I, doubt the, it. I honestly don't get the appeal of it. You ever played soccer before? Yeah. It's the least fun of any sport. I was on the orange team. <laughs> really? Did you play a lot of sports when you were a kid, Stamper? Were you like a football, baseball? You know what's weird? I played I played football recreationally with my friends, and we always had a good time, but every time it came to playing football in class, I would bomb hard, and I would be the biggest douchebag on the team, and everyone would hate me. That's what I think. It's like you like something, and the second you have to do it seriously, you start to hate it. I outside. tried as a game exactly. outside That's of what it is. school, but then inside of school, I saw it as If you like do it in school, when you start fucking up, everyone's like, Come on! And yeah, you're like, Fuck This off. is a fucking game. I know, game. I was playing goalie in a hockey game once, and I kept missing. Like, people kept scoring on me, and this kid came up to me, and he called me worthless and said that I was the most... He just like really laid into me, and really I, 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 I just sad about it. To this day, I, <laughs> <to this laughs> day, I haven't forgotten that. Like Dude, he was really how disappointed. Oh, you know, fucking twelve-ish. How old was he? But then, like after that, I'd go out and play hockey with my friends, and we'd be okay. It was fun. We didn't give a shit. Yeah, no, no, yeah, exactly. It wasn't a fucking social experiment. School is a social experiment. That's all it is. Yeah, all it is is just you're like forced to interact with people that. You maybe would want to be a friend, but... The people in school that you're friends with are just people that you hate the least. Like, that you have, that you have like, slight stuff in common with. Yeah. yeah well, it's like, oh, like, I kind of... Everyone you have nothing of, in common with. Well, well occasionally you'll find a few kind of good ones. I disagree. Okay, occasionally what? you'll find some One good ones. One of my very best friends, I've, like, almost nothing in common with Jack. Jack? The only thing I have in common with him is, like, movies. And he's, like, the coolest guy ever. But if you met Jack and you didn't go to school with him, would you think you'd like him? I didn't go to school with him. You ever think that maybe Jack, Jack has a million best friends? I know how they met. met. Probably. The swimming club. And yeah, we were swimming. And they both, and Chris needed better swimming about, shorts. And I said something about a candy bar and he thought it was funny. Then he was like, I like you. And they became friends. What if you met him today? Completely didn't know him. No, he's still, everyone who meets Jack yeah. meets Jack. I love Actually, Jack. Actually, when I first met Jack, I was I was really tired and Jack is so like energetic and loud yeah. that I was like oh god come on man and then like literally like the day later I was like I fucking love Jack <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's an energetic spaz though yeah he's so he's fucking energetic he's yeah. the co-creator of a random up. day we could call, call, uh, oh yeah fun fact he also um he did some puppet shit for Sleepy Cat remember oh did he was he in the cool show yep really mm -hmm. cool 
Yeah, I tried bandwagoning with that shit when I was a kid, uh, but I, I play I played pretty much every sport when I was a young. I think I realized pretty quickly I'm not a fucking athlete. Oh, I played every sport. Name a sport, but not a fucking insanely obscure sport. What do you think? I did boxing. I did soccer. I did an Irish sport hurling, Gaelic, rugby. I, I tried everything. I was like, maybe I'm a rugby player, and then I was like, no. Then I was like, soccer player, no. Boxer, no. Like everything. Yeah, just not. Did not you athlete. ever do spring flipping? Yeah, yeah, not for me. Really? What the hell is yeah. spring flipping? It's when you take a spring and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys ever see cheese rolling? Cheese rolling? Oh, yeah. That's the funniest shit. And people are like, whoa, come on. Yeah. Yeah. All you do is you go to the top of a big slippery hill and it's right and you throw cheese. Then you fucking run down the hill after the cheese. You fucking roll all the way down. The yeah, you roll down the hill. It's the funniest after shit. After the cheese and after the video. But it's so fucking creepy. It's about the, Eric. It's like, who thought of that? Like, it's like the apes would do. No, it's, you know, I, I laughed so hard when I saw it. But, um, you gotta watch that. Is it like roll, like big barrels you of roll cheese? roll a big fucking cheese wheel. Yeah, a cheese yeah, wheel. Yeah, we roll a cheese, yeah. Yeah. Down a hill. And you, you roll down after run it. after it as fast as you can. What happens when you grab onto it? <laughs> you, know, you know what the funniest part is? I think the video on YouTube is called Dangerous Sport Cheese Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> cheese roll. <laughs> do people die when they do that or something? <laughs> no, if you look at the video, there's people like landing on their necks and shit. Yeah, because you're running down fast down a hill and you're following. <laughs> what a worthless shit. fucking death. If you were to die, at least we'd go cool. It'd be so horrible to like, like break your neck cheese wheel. I always something. do wonder like why yeah, I like, explain that to people there. Like, that's how my grandfather died. Yeah, yeah. How'd your no, grandfather die? Like, oh, he died in 1945. Oh, like, uh, like, a, like World War II, no, like cheese will be fucking fell down and broke his neck. It, it must honestly seriously suck to die to something like incredibly stupid. Yeah. Because then, like, all, your whole family will just feel like so I was thinking cheated. about that. You know, like, um, like battles in Japan? Yeah. I'd say, how many people died by ninja stars? Like, <laughs> just, that's just so. Like, I'm not even talking like that. That's cool, compared to what I'm talking about. Not like, really. Like, what if, like, like blades on like, a star are, like, this big, and you die. That it just kills you. It doesn't just fuck with you. No, like, they just do it. Like, imagine, like, imagine if you, like, you were walking down one stair, and your leg slipped, and you broke your neck. It's like, oh, he, died. he fell off one yeah. stair. Dude, whatever. If, if, I met, if I met a guy, and he told me that his grandpa died and by Ninja Star, I'd be like, really? <laughs> Like like the weakest weapon in video games, really? That's how your grandpa died? Somebody I guess it depends if you hit somebody in the eye with, well, eye with it or like the neck or something. But if it hit like his head, but like his thumb came off. There has to be someone out there who died from like an infected asshole, like swamp ass. There has to be. Like someone who cut, got a little cut in their asshole from like shitting too hard. You've obviously thought about this before. No, I'm like, there, there had, like just imagine if you died of something like that. You're like, someone would have to explain what, to your mom, you? like, your son died from an, an infected asshole. And I've always worried that if they, they would just say that he had an infection that they didn't understand. I've always worried that I would have an erection when I died. Yeah, no, no like, people do have. I, I wake up with erections every day. Why do you worry about your state after you're dead? Because people be like, oh, yeah. Dead. I mean, I want three medics You're like that. So they're gonna go on Twitter and be like, yeah, we found Zach and he had a boner. Not, me, oh, not, not, even, not even because of who oh, I am. Oh, is your ghost gonna be sad? Like, shit. I don't, I don't want you to walk in and be able to live this down. There's no ghost. I'm just gonna be a dead guy with an erection. Dude, if I walked in on your dead body, the last thing I'd be worried about is your boner. Your right? eyes would be drawn. You'd go, the, dude, if you walked in, I'd be dead, hanging myself, and you saw my erection, you'd be like, guys. Zach had a big dead boner in there. <laughs> big dead boner. I'd be like, D dude, Zach's dead, plus he had a boner. <laughs> I fucking hit it and fell down. Did you hear about the guy who fucked the swimming pool and uh, his dick What came? aspect yeah. of it? What, what part of it? There was a just, jet stream. He, he fucked the swimming pool. There was a hole in the pool, like the, the jet. You can, we, the, the swimming pool is a body of water. Where yeah. did he fuck the swimming yeah, pool? He, he went to the, stick his dick in the swimming pool the, and he fucked no, it. No, you're being silly. He went to the edge of the pool where there was a hole in the wall with water getting sucked in. How could his dick fit inside of it? That's like, that's like a baby. Hole. And uh, he told the, the jet stream shoot out. They don't suck in. He told the paramedics that uh, he was like minding his own business in the pool, and the jet stream was like really strong for one moment, and sucked him in by the dick, and he was like, "Whoa!" And his pants came is down. That, is that what he told the? I swear to God, that's what he told them. You know, there is like seven billion people in the world. Maybe that did happen to one. Well, no, maybe. If you fucking think it, you just be pushing water down your dick hole. Just be shoving water. That was actually the first time I came. Was when I was in the swimming pool. My dad brought me to a oh, swimming pool. Oh God! You came. Yeah. You came in the swimming pool. No, no, no. One? No, no. This is the first time I felt the sensation of like coming. Was when my dad brought me to uh, a public God. swimming pool. This is why I hate public swimming pools, dude. Uh, no, I didn't come in the in the swimming pool. Listen to me. Yeah, aliens happened. were there. What, the aliens were not <laughs> there. The what did face. happen was I got into the pool and I was swimming <laughs> around and I saw a lady who was resting her arms on the edge of the pool and she was just sitting there and I was like, what the fuck? 
when she left, I went over to inspect the area. There was a little jet of water coming from the wall. And I was like, whoa, what was she doing? And I did the same thing she was doing. Started blowing on my dick. Oh, right? she doing that up her pussy? Yeah. Holy shit. And I was like, whoa, this Oh, oh, oh. And I started coming. <laughs> but, but I was like literally probably eight. And then my dad walked over in the pool. And he's like, what are you doing? And it was just like, I'm just swimming against the, the water. And he's like, you better not be doing what I think you're doing. What? He said that? <laughs> yeah, and he walked away. And then right after he walked away, I looked up and there was a fucking camera looking down at me. And I was like, ah, oh, shit. Did you I take like whip out your dick? Chris, no, what? I was just blowing against the hell? Why did your dad say that? Why would he even assume that you were doing that? Because it's obviously what I was doing. <laughs> I thought you were fucking eight. I know. He was probably smiling and looking around. I was fucking coming. I had to come face (laughs) And it's the first ever come face, which is the most intense. Everyone knows that that's the most intense come face. No, no, this is what happened, right? I I thought I was... How many eight-year-olds coming do you see, though? Everyone knows. It's a common knowledge. This is what I I thought I was, like, punched. It felt like I'd been punched, like, right above my dick. That's what it initially felt like, right? So I was like, that felt interesting. Next time I watched him and I did the same thing. I did it, like, every single time, like, until eventually I was like, maybe I can just do this at home so one night I was in the bathtub and I started like flapping my dick around between my fingers instead of like grabbing my dick and jerking off so like you were twirling I, I, I was like pushing water towards my dick as fast as it would go and I, I, I somehow managed to come like a million times doing that and then eventually I was like Maybe it's better if I just jerk it off, and then I used to lie face down in the bathroom. Wait, so you like discovered it like a fucking ape discovered fire or whatever? I swear to God, right? Seriously? And our bathroom, you know my bathroom in Bally Cali? Yeah. There's a fucking little window at the top of the door for some reason. Yeah. But it's, you'd, you'd have to be eight foot to look in, but yeah. I was so paranoid that if my mom and dad stuck their head over the window and looked in, I saw me like playing with my dick, I would like get sent to counseling, because when I was younger, <laughs> I thought it was like... You a shower thing. curtain? No, no, it was in my bathtub. Yeah, but when I was younger, we were a Christian family. I thought that was the most evil thing I was doing. I honestly felt so guilty I every felt time. I was doing so it. I used to like face down and hold my breath under the water and like flap my dick. So you risk dying family. every time you masturbate. I didn't risk <laughs> dying. Like a kind of I don't want to breathe, but, but that is a form of autoerotic association. Well, uh, that's not what got me up. I was just afraid my mom and dad would see me jerking off. <laughs> and that's what got me up. Yeah, that's what got you up. Your dad poked his head through the window watching you. No! Have you ever had I on. actually, that's another story. I remember the day that I, I've, my mom actually, like, said, Chris, I think it's time we talk about sex. And I was like, what? And she was like, you know, it's normal to masturbate. So I was like, oh! Thank God! I'm so relieved. You just went off and jacked off that day. <laughs> yeah. My my mom get the talk. Yeah, my mom left the book. No, I didn't get the talk because my parents were too embarrassed about it. My mom, yeah, my, my parents gave me a book. Like, but yeah, they left the book on my bed called Boy Talk, and it was just these kids, right? And they were hanging on trees. It's like, like every, girl it was talk. boys, fucking boys. And, and that's no, and every, water, every okay, water. so so it was just like. Hey, hey Ben, do you want to go hang out later? And and it's like, okay Paul, I'll meet you after school. And then they're hanging out at a tree, and they're hanging on a tree, and it's like, do you ever masturbate? And then like he's like, yeah. And it's like, do you like what? What do you do? Do you like rubbing your dick? Do you it was really fucking weird. And it's like all boys talk like this. It's like, dude, no, I don't like fucking talk to my friends about like you know fondling my pee hole and stuff. But uh, what you, you call it? Your pee hole when you check off, <laughs> dude. I saw poor dude, baby six. This is a new way. Wait, I saw, I wait saw, this is a new way to jack off. Okay, mm-hmm. lick your hand and rub the bell end. That's it. Just, just rub it. Just I like figured that out when I was twelve. Everyone, everyone knows that. Everyone everyone knows that. Knows yeah, why you lick my hand? Though, I spit in it. Then why were you telling me that this was some sort of weird fucking phenomenon? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, my parents didn't give me a masturbation book. They gave me a book. Uh, they masturbated me. Uh, yeah, they well, well, jacked me off. Well, the book was about all of that stuff. No, my parents gave me a book. I, I forget what it was called, but it was essentially like this is what mommies and daddies do. Oh. Uh-huh. So they hug each other. Yeah, special hug. Yeah, and men have penises and women have vaginas. And all the book did was make me horny and more confused. <laughs> it didn't yeah, help. No, that's me. also a similar story. One time when I was very, very fucked young a guy came to my mom and dad's door with a ton of books he was like this is the whatever encyclopedia if you buy these books you will never need any other books in your life my mom and dad got scammed and they paid like 200 pounds at the time oh they did the, the oh, that's the a common encyclop- scam encyclopedia yeah. britannica yeah i think that, I, that it, that's probably. a common scam like an encyclopedia sales i was like very young at the time but mom and dad were like chris these books they will like make you the smartest kid ever uh, did the yeah. internet exist at the time? It did not, but um, I, I found one book with, that had titties in it, and I, I, I literally stole it from the collection and kept it under my mattress. Once when I was eight, I printed off naked pictures of Buffy that were fake, that were obviously fake, <laughs> and I brought them into school, and I gave one to my friend. And you were God. Yeah, oh, yeah, I was the fucking <laughs> king. Until I got caught, and everyone pointed a finger and they're like, it was him. But yeah, 
uh, what you call it, I, I used to be the kind of dealer, because I was the first one who, who kind of discovered the internet or whatever, so I was like dealing out all these like fake porn pictures. I did the same thing, but with Mortal Kombat fatalities. Wait, really? Nobody understood what the internet was, <laughs> and I was like, this is a place where you can get things, and they're like, like what? And I was like, how about this printout, baby? Yeah, yeah. And they I were like, oh my god, I didn't know you could do that! The, like, I remember, this was like the year 2001 or something like that, and I just like, literally... And then I was doing the same thing with, like, fucking deep, pirated DVDs. I was a little fucking asshole back in the day. I was the first one to discover, like, torrenting or whatever. And I used to, like, sell, like, fucking fake torrented DVDs in school. Yeah, I remember. I was, a, I was a god as well. I was one of the first people who figured out how to download music illegally, burn it to a CD, and one of my first customers was my manager at Walmart, and I overcharged him because he was an asshole. I was like, but he was still kind of cool. I used to do that too, except, like, my friend, they, they started giving me, like, all everyone in the school started giving me lists of like 50 songs to put on one CD and I was like holy shit and I still took all the money and I was like oh god what do I do and I give them like a CD shit, like, you got paid? and then I give them I did it for street credit and, th and then I give them songs with like five songs on it and I'd be like sorry I couldn't get the rest and they'd be like oh, <laughs> but they'd still be happy well then they were still like yeah they get to listen to fucking Gangster's Paradise or whatever the fuck they wanted yeah exactly yeah. so yeah but I, yeah I don't know what the moral of that story was I don't know either <laughs> yeah the Irish story I guess <laughs> Irish stories Anyways, when I was like eight, I didn't understand sex. I'm glad you did. I used to walk around, and I remember when I was eight years old, I had a bathrobe, and I used to get boners all the time, and I used to just, uh, walk around with my bathrobe and my little boner under the bathrobe, and I'd open the bathrobe up and just point my boner at things and hope that things happened. I would surprise the world. It's like a perpetual fire or something? <laughs> would you point at a candle and just blow up? It was like testing the waters, like maybe if I pointed it at, at, at that, and then I'd yeah, that my that was a key, that you were trying to figure it out what, what it did. Yeah, and I was so frustrated. I used to just rub my boner on things. and that's I did that too. I used to like... Fucking book and I was a little pervert before out. I knew what sex was. I was a pervert, but I still didn't know what sex was. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. We were just a little fucking... And then when I found out what sex was, oh my god. I never got any more of a pervert. Things got really, really bad, really quick. <laughs> really quick. Yeah, I used to fantasize, like, I had a really weird ones. Like, I fantasized about, like, having x-ray glasses that I could see through only girls' clothes. <laughs> and going to school and be like, hey, hey, no one knows. Hey, I used to get boners in school. Yeah. Hey. I used to get boners all the time in school, dude. Yeah. And I I before, before, before I figured out about the waistband joke, I used to fucking pull my pockets up really high, but it just looked like I had a boner and I was holding my pockets weird. It looked horrible. And what, or I used to put books in front of my dick. That worked all right. So the uh, waistband trick only works when you're wearing sweatpants, and then kids make fun of you because you're poor and can't afford jeans. You can do this one. You can do a waistband when you if you have jeans. Yeah, but you have to tuck it up under your jeans and yeah, your it's belt. Yeah, it's kind of painful. It, it it to to just Not if you have foreskin, baby. High five. Uh, uh, That's bullshit. It still hurts when you. No, it does not. It. No, it your does not. Your doesn't hurt when you mash it under a belt buckle, and the belt no, skin, metal is foreskin dampens. You guys are actually talking bullshit now. Unless the head no. of your dick is rubbing the waistline. It was like. <laughs> No, what is your not, dick it's extra skin, dude. It's extra skin. It's, it's a layer it's of it. It's a padding of it is a layer of extra skin. It's armor for the dick, dude. Dude, my belt buckle's not rubbing up against my dick head. It's rubbing up against the, the, the middle of the shaft. shaft. Of my uh, dick. Yeah, that wouldn't really help. It helps me. <laughs> you don't have an extra little <laughs> layer over the you're, actual you're skin. Leader, you have extra skin at the top where the helmet is. Yeah. Not where the shaft, not where the balls That means you've got a small dick because but the helmet's when your dick <laughs> points up, it means it only goes as far as the belt, which means your dick is Did small. Did you scientifically discover I have a small dick? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. We just, so we just crack the puzzle. So when I get a good job, team. Good job, team. Good job, team. Dick Murray. I talk my boner behind my belt buckle. The head of my dick stops at my titties. When I, I used to go, so, sometimes I, it comes through my shirt. And I have to like push it down. Can you titty wank yourself, Stamper? Huh? Can you titty wank yourself? Yeah, I can blow myself. Whoa! Without without bending over. Well, sitting upright in a computer chair, I can blow myself. <laughs> standing up. <laughs> it's like playing the trombone when you're standing up. When I used to go to St. Peter's College at Wexford, uh, our school uniforms pants was like literally paper thin. It's like the, this gray, itchy fucking yeah. paper. All schools in Ireland have that for some reason. You see yeah. dudes running around with pee spots in their pants because they didn't shake their dicks off hard enough. Yeah. Yep, you do. Once I got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like how quick you answered that. was bull. <laughs> once you, uh, once I, got, I was at a urinal, and uh, a guy, like, did I tell this before? No. I was, I was at a urinal in school, and a guy pushed me while I was taking a piss. 
I got pissed all over my pants. And then he goes, ha ha. And then he goes, and then he goes, oh wait. And then he didn't tell anyone. I was, I was like, oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Wait, what? And he didn't tell anyone. He was like, nice. He was like, oh shit, sorry. You got, you got. He goes, ha, you peed your pants, and just didn't. Like I thought he was gonna tell everyone I peed. Kids in high school used to do this thing where they used to kick people while they were taking a piss. Yeah, yeah. You, at the and so, so, yeah. What about present to me? So I got really mad. I took a bunch of paper towels and covered it in soap, and he was taking a shit. Like he walked in, <laughs> kicked my ass. Yeah, we'd always do that. And, and he walked, touches the urinal, right? You know, I pee. When he walks, he kicks you in the ass, and you slam against the wall. The stall, I'm sorry, like like the urinal, and then he walked and took his shit. He sat in the stall and started taking a shit. I got furious, so I took a bunch of paper towels, covered it in soap, and started fucking yeah, pelting you know, over, over the top of the stall. And he started screaming. Do, do you ever get like a wet like bit yes. of tissue or toilet paper and uh, just throw it on the ceiling and it just goes? <laughs> we do that in school all the time. That's what babies do. <laughs> <laughs> but for, I was gonna say, you know the paper thin pants. Yes. Yeah. They are you really know, bad. have to clean that off. You're yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, but this one was a kid. I didn't even think those about paper that. thin pants are the worst at hiding boners. Like yeah. really bad. Like what's, I, what's the worst? The shows the right? outline of your boners. They yeah. are bad. They are bad. You can see your yeah. big balls. And also, do you guys like hate your? I, I really hate urinals. Like, I love urinals. I, 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 I wish there was one in the fucking. I'm not afraid of showing my dick to people at urinals, but like I don't. I just don't like. I think they're grosser than toilets. Nah, urinals are convenient for me. I think they're way more convenient. More often than not, I piss in the sink. I never get stage fright. They're disgusting though. I'm actually. I'm not joking. More often than not, I piss in the sink. That's I gross. wish I had a urinal. In, in in the house we live in. What? Welcome to P-Town, <laughs> Niall. Oh, man, I'm gonna literally flash flash. That's why your face smells like piss. Don't do that. Don't do that. My pee. Urinals are completely convenient. I don't like. like I don't like the ones that drop the floor. Wall. You're pissing on the wall. Who's the Who's you that don't have fucking the guy who goes around spitting chewing gum in every single urinal in the country? Huh? That one fucking dude. Oh what? yeah, Chewy McGum. Yeah, he goes around spitting chewing gum in the urinals. It's a fucking... Is there really a guy that's doing that? It's a yeah. catastrophe. Do you, not, do you not see it? No. You want to urinal? There's always, there's, always a, there's always a bit of gun. There's oh, always, always, he's always, guy, yeah, he's always on always CNN, like, with his Sasquatch photos when he's leaving the, yeah. he's leaving the stall. So that well, they conducted tests saying that if a guy has something to aim at, he'll always shoot his pee at that thing. Cigarette butts, chewing gum. Stamper, how much... What's the least amount you would want to chew some gum that's 